Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series of Transport Fever where I'm going to be attempting to recreate as accurately as possible the train routes of the Northeast United States. And this is the map that I'm going to be using, which uh, goes as far north as Vermont and extends as far south as Virginia. Uh, here's, here's Burlington in Vermont. But we're going to be focusing, I mean, we'll, we'll be using the whole map, but we're going to be focusing primarily on the route from Boston down to Washington. So here's Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, up in the northeast. And we go, uh, we follow this route down through uh, Providence in uh, Rhode Island, through uh, New London, New Haven, Stamford, Connecticut, through New York, and then down through New Jersey. We've got Edison, Trenton, Atlantic City down here. And then uh, Philadelphia, which is uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania extends out in this direction. And then Wilmington. Wilmington is Delaware. Delaware actually is, is this area here, but it just clips Wilmington up here. Then through uh, Aberdeen, Baltimore, which is uh, Maryland. And then Washington, D.C. And then from Washington, D.C., we'll also be extending our routes out into uh, out into Virginia. And we've got quite a lot of Virginia down here. We've got Fredericksburg, uh, Richmond, out to, uh, out to Norfolk on the coast. And across as far as... Charleston. Now, actually, Charleston is actually a little bit further over here, but I included it here because I wanted uh, I wanted to be able to have some some nice train routes going out here. So I thought we'd I thought we'd throw Charleston in. So there you go. This is a big old map, and uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So what kind of stuff are we going to be putting on this map? Well, we're going to be focusing on the Amtrak Northeast train routes, and you can see there's there's plenty of routes for us to put in. The classic route is the Acela Express route, which runs from Boston up in the north, all the way down through New York, through Philadelphia, down to Washington. But there are plenty of routes which um, extend off this main kind of backbone. If we uh, if we take a look at the the Northeast Regional route, which is down here, you can see that this adds a couple of uh, this adds a few spurs in actually uh, up in the north. We've got this uh, this route that runs up to Springfield, and then down south, we extend out from uh, from Washington, down out into Virginia. We go down through Richmond, and then there's a spur off to Newport News, and one that runs down to Norfolk on the coast, and then across, going to the west, through uh, Charlottesville, down to uh, Lynchburg. There's even a route called the Vermonter which goes up as far as our most northerly city, which is uh, Burlington up in Vermont. So this one runs up from New York through Springfield and then all the way up into Vermont, all the way up to Burlington. Where's Burlington? Here's Burlington, up here. Okay, a few words about the map and the mods that I'm gonna be using in this series. Now, the map that I'm using is based off of Alexander Kuzmin's uh, Boston Washington Corridor No Industry map that you can find on the uh, on the Steam Workshop. Um, but I've had to like fairly heavily mod it. The I've, I've I've modified the height map because the height map was, let's say it was a little bit rough and ready um, for like the scale of the of the map that we're using. It was it was just a little bit too rough. So uh, I've smoothed that out. And then I've also taken out a lot of the towns and cities that were, were on that map. There were way, way too many, which was causing the game to, um, to either lag a lot or even crash. So, uh, so yeah, it's a, much, it's a much simplified map from that perspective. And then the mods that I'm going to be using, there are five mods initially. I will be adding more mods to this as we go along, and I'll let you know uh, as I add them. I'm using the, uh, the vegetation increase, which adds lots and lots of nice forests to our map, as you've seen. And then I'm using the time progression two times slower mod. Now, there is a four times slower mod, and I have kind of play tested that. Where's the, where's the four times slower? There is a four times slower, but I felt the four times slower was a bit too slow. Um, I want to be able to enjoy the steam trains and I want to have enough time to get in industry running, but the four times just, I don't know, it just made it kind of drag a little bit. So we're going with the two times slower. I've added the uh, left right side cargo harbor, which I think is an absolute must have mod. I've added the uh, the curved train stations, like kind of just in case we need those. And the big one, I've added the new industry mod and I'm adding version 2.4. Now this thing is huge. It adds 14 new types of goods. 
Uh, and we're talking about stuff like there's an alcohol production chain, a paper production chain, cement, garbage, clothes. It adds uh, new types of wagons to support the, the new products. Uh, there's a button which allows us to add our own resources and factories. Uh, but they're very, very expensive. Like you're talking like 50 million to uh, just to add like a farm. So yeah, it, it adds a whole new level to the game. And each new factory has annual maintenance, which you have to take into consider. So it's not like free money. This is kind of well balanced, I think. And I've added a little bit of industry to the map to start off with. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, the vehicles are set to American. The terrain and the trees are set to European. Building streets and the environment are set to American. So I've spent about four days preparing this series uh, and most of that time has gone on uh, preparing the map and, and a lot of time on, on play testing it to make sure that everything works and makes sense. Now the industry, for example, what I've added is I've added a whole bunch of, uh, of resources. Well, not a whole bunch. I've added a few resources around the map. And the resources have been added in places where they should actually be. So I've, I've gone and researched. I've been doing like, I've been looking at geological surveys and things. So um, if, here's New York over here. Here's Allentown. So this is, um, this is New Jersey. And then over here, we're into uh, Pennsylvania over here. Up here. This is where there is actual oil drilling going on. And so I've put in a bunch of oil wells to uh, to reflect that. And then, um, let's see, um, Allentown's here. Scranton would be about here. There's um, there's an ore, uh, an iron ore field uh, up here. Just a fairly, well, it's a fairly small one. And then there's a much larger one down here. Uh, and so I've reflected that by putting in these, um, these iron ore deposits. And then down south, in Virginia, I've added some uh, some cotton plantations, uh, extending all the way across the the south. There's another one up there. There's one down here, down here, um, which is um, you know again fairly accurate. And then um, throwing in a few a, f a few uh, f lumber yards around the place. Well, forests around the place, uh, around Allentown, between sort of uh, Allentown and, and Scranton over here, I've put in um, coal mines, because this is this kind of the big coal mining area uh, in, the, in, the, in the northeast. And uh, then I've thrown in um, a few farms and, uh, and, and, and production facilities. The farm chain has, uh, has changed quite a lot. Before it just used to be uh, you would produce uh, grain and livestock, ship it to a, to a food production factory, and that was it. Just, just the two steps in the chain. Now, you need, um, well, you don't need, but you can get improved uh, production by sending fertilizer to a crop farm. The crop farm produces grain. The grain has to be shipped to a livestock or a dairy farm to produce either, either, either livestock or milk. And then that has to get shipped to your production facility to actually process it into food. The, uh, the chains are much more complex, and there's a lot more of them with this uh, with this new industry mod. I absolutely love it. And this map, I got to say, guys, this map is beautiful. I've spent a lot of time making sure that this really is beautiful. And even like even the stone quarries, I've made sure that the stone quarries are actually like in places with like exposed cliffs with rocks and stuff, just to make the thing look as beautiful as it can possibly look. And I think <laughs> that it really is pretty damn beautiful. I'm gonna love playing on this map. So what do you think? Should we get started? Yep, I think we should. Right, so we're starting off 1st of April, 1850. And uh, we should start with two million, but for, for some reason I managed to lose 100,000, but okay, never mind. Uh, but we start off with uh, uh, two million, but that two million is a loan. So we need to start making some money and we need to start making some money pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna kick off with, I'm gonna put in a, uh, a, a road route, a, a stagecoach route running from Boston all the way down to Washington. And in fact, I think I'm going to extend it even beyond Washington, um, down through Fredericksburg and Richmond, down to uh, Norfolk. That's going to be kind of our first passenger route to get some cash coming in. Uh, I'm also going to set up a shipping route up here in Boston. And I've put in these, um, these this industry kind of specifically to allow me to do that. Now, this is not an ideal route, but it should still be possible to make this profitable. So we're going to be shipping 
uh, let's see, we're going to be shipping fertilizer over to this uh, this grain farm, and then the grain's going to be shipped down to this this uh, uh, livestock farm, and then we'll be shipping the livestock back to this uh, this food processing plant over here, and then shipping that into Boston. Now, I've created those kind of um, those kind of product chains in Boston. Uh, there's one around the New York area, and there's also one down around uh, uh, Washington. And that is so that we can kind of get those three big cities. And also I've put one in, um, there's a food processing plant next to Philly. Uh, those four, Washington DC, Philly, New York, and Boston, are kind of the four big cities that we want to, want to get growing. So that's the reason for doing that. I've also added in, um, because of my love of Newark, I've added in just to, just for a bit of um, a bit of nice character for Newark. We've added in uh, an oil refinery and a chemical plant. Right? That should, I think that should set the right tone for Newark, don't you think? Right. So I thought it's going to take quite a lot of time to put this in because uh, I'm going to be putting multiple stops into every city on the way, all the way down there. So it's going to take a bit of time to set the route up and everything. So uh, how about we start the series with a nice banging time lapse?
Alrighty, so that took, what, uh, about 25 minutes to set up. So now you know why I did it as a time lapse, because otherwise the episode would be over and we wouldn't even have even seen a vehicle move. So we've got, um, I, I split the um, the stagecoach line into, uh, into two lines, from Boston down to Washington and then from Washington down to uh, Norfolk. And then I set up these two freight lines, these two um, freight shipping lines, which are going to be uh, providing food into Boston. And in actual fact, there's one bit more that we need to put in, which is uh, we need to put in a truck line to ship the food from the food processing plant into Boston itself. So let's have a look. Where's the commerce in, uh, in Boston? It's over in this area. So I think what we can do is um, flip this little baby around. Let's put you in, uh, you know what, let's put you in near the factory, I think. Just for more realistic. Like, if we were going for max profits, we'd want to, like, like put it out as far as possible. So we'd put it out, like, here, but um, I think we'll go for aesthetics. Let's have it on that corner. I think that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Right, we, uh, we need a depot for some vehicles. And now where am I going to put the depot? I'm kind of tempted to put the depot down there in, but I think, I, think, I think I'm going to just put it over here. Yeah, I'm just going to put it over here. And all I'm going to do on this... Oh, I need to set up a line first. <laughs> that would be handy. That would be very handy. Let's put in a line from there to... Uh, let's see. I think we can use this stop here, or I could put in a, a specific stop over here. Uh, maybe, we'll get, maybe we'll put in a dedicated one. Let's put in a dedicated one. Let's go crazy. Oh, crazy. Uh, what do I want? I want passenger and bus tram stop, which we'll put in there. And I always put two just for like the sake of it, not for any special reason. So we're going to go there. Okay, cool. And it's going to take a while before we actually get the, the food being produced. So for now, what I'll do, I'll just buy one horse wagon and buy that and pop that on this line, which is going to be the RF Road Freight Boston Food Line. Hooray! Which is hopefully going to make us loads and loads of money. Okay, so we want to ship uh, the fertilizer from this factory, fertilizer factory, out to this uh, grain farm. And if we, you can either ship nothing, which is on, on the other side of this white line, uh, and it will produce one grain, or you can ship fertilizer and then it will produce three grain. So I definitely want to do that. So let's see. I want to put in a shipyard. Let's get a, a shipyard put in. And this is going to cost me even more money. Let's see. Where are we going to put this? Um, I'd like to, I must admit, I'd quite like to put this like close to Boston itself. Um, but I think I'm going to put it just outside because I might end up putting like a harbour in here, maybe. So I could ship this food down with, uh, like if I put a harbour down here, which would probably have been a good idea, uh, I could have got the food shipped by by ship down here, but I think we'll truck it in for now. Let's put the, uh, let's put the shipyard over here, I think. So let's have the shipyard. What's the cheapest? There. Okay, so I am going to buy now, the, the, the fertilizer is liquid fertilizer, so you need tankers for that. So we're going to get a couple of Zoroasters, I think, running on that line. So let's buy... Now, I'm going to need, I'm going to need some money for this. So let's get... Um, let's, borrow, let's borrow up to 5 million. And we're going to get a couple of these put on here. So one, two. So two Zoroasters shipping fertilizer out there. So set line. This is going to be Boston fertilizer line. Hooray. And then we're going to need ships to ship, um, they'll start off at the, the grain farm and then they'll ship the grain down to the uh, livestock farm, which is this one. Uh, so two grain make one livestock and then the livestock will get shipped up to the, uh, to the food processing factory up there. So uh, we're gonna want, I would think, a fair few ships. I think we're gonna start off with maybe, hmm, I don't know. Let's see, I think we'll probably start off with um, you know what, I think I'll probably get, like, uh, three, and then I'll add, mm, yeah, and then I think I'll add some. So let's go, uh, one, two, three, mm, three, yeah, let's get three. And we'll set those on the Boston food line. Cha-ching. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with the Boston 
Well, actually, with the, with both. Uh, with the fertilizer line, mm, actually, not with the fertilizer line, but with the food line, I'm going to tell them. Uh, where's the overview? Uh, which which stop is this? This is this is Providence Annex. I'm going to tell them to wait for a full load, uh, but I'm only going to let them wait for like three minutes, and that should just help to space them out a little bit. So, uh, bum, bum, bum. yep, that's fine. Good. And we don't need that anymore. So we've got some ships going out. We've got yeah yeah ships on both those lines. Uh, we've got one truck on there. Fine. Okay. Now. <laughs> now we need to get stagecoaches on the big lines, and these are pretty big, both of these. Uh, let's let's move these let's move these down here out of the way for now, and we'll take a look at these. So, how many stops have we got on the Boston Washington line? Ninety eight stops on that line, and on this one, just just a mere thirty eight, hardly any at all. So yeah, <laughs> how are we going to do this? Well, we need to um, space our vehicles out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick like a kind of a midpoint, which is probably going to be down, let's see, Washington's down there. I'm thinking probably between Edison and Trenton in the middle of New Jersey is probably going to be about the midway point. So. We're going to put in, uh, like here will do, here will do. We'll put in a road depot and flip this around like that and attach it to this road. Boom. And what I'm going to do is start putting uh, vehicles onto this line, but I'm only going to put them on like a few at a time. So I'm going to put, let's see, let's start with one, two, three, four. Set line, uh, Boston, Washington. So we'll start off with four of those, and then we'll go down to the middle of this line, which I guess is probably between Richmond and Petersburg. Yeah. So we'll put in, let's see, another one, another depot down here. Flip this around like this. Bosh. And again, by ride vehicles. What's going on? One, two, three, four and set those on the Washington Norfolk line. Alrighty, <laughs> well, that is all the setup done. So now we're ready to just kick it off. So the, I suppose the question now is, like, what are we gonna watch first? Um, yeah, I, I tell you what we're gonna do, guys. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna kick it off and I'm going to start putting um, these vehicles on, and then we'll go and have a look at, uh, at what's going on after. So he here we go, and I think we'll probably kick this up into into high gear because I want to get these vehicles out as like as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do oh, now, I'm actually going to reverse you. So you go that way. So I'm going to have two going that way, two going that way. Good. And once he's uh, once he's gone a little bit of a way. We'll buy some more. One, two, three, four. And set those on Boston, Washington. And then we'll zip off back down to... Uh, <laughs> where was it? We'll, we'll zip off back down here. And put in another four down here. One, two, three, four. And set those on the uh, Washington, Norfolk line. Right. Actually, what would make sense would be to keep that open and go back up to this one and just keep popping out uh, one two three four and set those on Boston Washington and do the same thing one two three four and pop those onto the uh, Washington Norfolk line yeah that works kind of nicely so, buy ride vehicles, one, two, three, four, and set them on that line, Boston, Washington, yep, and another four, one, two, three, four, on Washington, Norfolk, all right, okay, this all seems to be working out quite nicely. Now, we're going to need a lot of vehicles on this line, we've got like a hundred stops on this line. So how many how many vehicles we got? And there's quite long gaps in between. So I'm thinking we want probably something like 200 vehicles on here. So yeah, it's gonna 
<laughs> two, three, four. It's going to take a while to get all of these uh, vehicles put in. Uh, but let's see, Boston, Washington, and we'll stick another four on here. One, two, three, four. And four, go on to Washington, Norfolk. Hooray! Okay, so yeah, you can see this is going to take a, a, a little while to do. Uh, how are our ships doing up here? Let's have a look. So, oh, now have you actually have you actually picked up any? Oh, he's got one fertilizer on board. How much have you got? He's got eight fertilizer on board. Oh my lord, they're rocking and rolling. Uh, I'm thinking we probably want to put maybe a third ship on this route. So. Let's space that a bit now. So let's buy another tanker. Buy. And we'll pop that onto the fertilizer route. Cool. So we've got three ships headed out to the grain line. Now, have we got grain waiting? We have. We've got 12, 13. And that's ticking along. And once we start getting fertilizer out there, that's going to build up pretty quickly. So I think we'll get another, another couple of ships headed out there. Let's get uh, another couple of Wilhelms. One, two. And the great thing about the ships is that they'll they'll carry all of the materials. I mean, apart from the fertilizer, they'll carry the grain, they'll carry the livestock, uh, and they'd even carry the food if I wanted to get the, like, if I'd put a, a, a harbor over here. I don't know. I might end up putting a harbor over here and having the food shipped directly there. It would it would kind of make sense. So da -da -da -da, set line all those go on to Boston food. Right, let's get back. Let's get some more vehicles going on here. One, two, three, four. It's all hectic, isn't it? All hectic. Set line. Uh, Boston, Washington. This one, buy road vehicles. One, two, three, four. And those go on to um, Washington, Norfolk. Right, I think we can speed it up again now. Whew, man. Uh, where are we? So, yep, they're headed out on the line. Cool. Let's bring, uh, let's bring this up so we can actually see how many vehicles we've got on here. So let's carry on. Uh, more carriages. One, two, three, four. Get those on that line and by road vehicles. One, two, three, four. And get those onto Washington, Norfolk. Now, I could have just like got a whole load of them and just let them sort themselves out. But doing it this way just helps them to, to space out like a little bit better. Now, how far, how far up have they got? They've, they've only got as far, they haven't even got as far as Stamford. They've got to go all the way up to Boston. So yeah, it's gonna take a little while to get all of these vehicles on here. Uh, let's keep let's keep banging them on there. So one, two, three, four, five. You know, you know what, I might start banging them on six at a time. Uh, set line. Boston, Washington. This I'm still going to do four, I think. One, two, three, four. And set line at Washington, Norfolk. Whew. So what are we up to now? We've got 34 vehicles on Boston, Washington. We've got 32 on the Washington, Norfolk. Now, Washington, Norfolk. Um, let's see. We've got 38. So I'm thinking we probably want around about 70 vehicles on that line. Yep, something along those lines. We're coming up to the end of the year. Now, I want to make sure that I don't borrow... Uh, any excessive cash when we go over the end of the year because that's when we pay our interest on our loan. Uh, how are we doing our first year? Well, imagine we're going to make like a huge loss in the first year. So we are we're down five million at the moment. We still got five million to spend. We've got the auto save going on for the end of the year. Here we go, January first. So we've just paid seventy five thousand in loan interest. So now we want to start borrowing some more. Let's borrow another let's borrow another couple of million. Let's get some more road vehicles going on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Set those on the line. Buy a one, two, three, four. And set those on Washington Norfolk. Woohoo! It's all happening. We're up to 40. But like like I said, we want about 200 vehicles on here. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, a ways to go yet. Let's give them a little bit of time before we get the next ones. So what do we want? Uh, horse carriages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set those on there. And four more on this one. One, two, three, four. And away you go. Okay, now this is going to be rinse and repeat until I've got all of the vehicles on. So why don't why don't I just kind of um, 
fast forward a bit until I've got all of the vehicles on and then we can start taking a ride and we'll go and take a look at the, the shipping line and we'll take a look at um, and our lovely stagecoaches and we'll just see how beautiful some of these routes are. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay, so we are coming up, uh, we're coming up towards the end of December. I'm going to pause the game. Uh, we're coming up to the end of December 1852, so I've run it on for about another, another year or so. Um, yeah, 18 months, something like that. And let's see, we have got uh, 178 stagecoaches <laughs> on the Boston-Washington line. We've got 72 on the Washington-Norfolk uh, line. That's already starting to make a profit. We've, uh, we're, yeah, we're almost at a capacity on that line. That's happened pretty damn quickly. Uh, we're still not making money on the fertilizer line or the or the food line yet. But let's just go and take a little bit of a, a look around. Now I've spent eight and a half million. So the reason I'm pausing it is because I'm just about to get uh, another interest payment, which is going to be of over a hundred thousand. So I want to make sure that I've bought everything before we go into the red, because then we're just going to have to wait for. Uh, for us to make some profits. So um, I want to get some more vehicles on the on the food line. So let's buy, oh, horse wagons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what do I think? Um, six, seven, that's, that would give us eight. Yeah, that should be plenty, I would have thought. So that, those are gonna go on the, yeah, the Boston food line. Uh, okay, so that's that. Uh, I definitely want to get some more ships on the on the on the Boston food shipping line. Now let's see. How are we doing over here? We're getting we're getting some production going. Uh, let's see. We've got a ship in oh we've got a ship in the harbour. Where are you? Uh, oh you've got 32. We've got a ship waiting out here to ship down. Uh, we, there should be one oh there's a couple of ships down here. We've got a uh, ship down here. Oh he's bringing 21 cattle back and you are shipping 50 grain down there. So yeah, we're, we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. Production on this is already up to 100. Awesome. Right, so let's get, um, let's see. We've got, you know what, let's, let's borrow up to our 10 million. That gives us 1.66. Uh, let's close that down. I should have kept that, uh, I should have kept the Boston Washington line open so that we can see it. Let's just close that down that up there all right so buy ships now these uh, we want Wilhelms these cost 187 so I'm thinking we want at least five of these one two three four five so let's get those and put those on the food line that gives us a total of ten ships on, on the food line um, I'm pretty sure we will want more on that line once uh, production starts racking up but that's what we'll live with for now Okay, <clears throat> I think it's time to let that kind of like get on and we need to start having a look at some of this beautiful stuff that's going on. But I'm just going to go down. Now, where the hell did I put that depot? I put that depot in down here. Uh, we can afford to put a few more vehicles on. Not many, but we can afford a few. So let's get one, two, three, four, five, six. Set line, uh, Boston, Washington. Let's let it crank up. And what I'm going to do is just before the end of the year, uh, that'll do the 29th. I'm just going to buy as many road vehicles as I can buy. Now there's nothing else that I need to do. I've got all my road vehicles. I've got all my ships. I've got uh, the horse carts. Yeah. So buy road vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many? How many can we get on here? Um, what about? I, I said I wanted 200, didn't I? So that's a little bit more than 200. So actually, well, okay, I tell you what, we'll take, we'll just take those then. Let's put, put those on. So set those on Boston, Washington. Cool. Um, is there anything that I could probably, I could afford to put another ship over here then. So let's put another, let's put another Wilhelm on that line. So buy and you're going to go onto the Boston food line. Right. So th that's basically it now. So I'm going to let it run. And now we're going to like have a look at some stuff. Oh, there we go for the end of the year. Our money's going to disappear now because we just had an interest payment. How much was our interest payment? Uh, 150000 for the interest. Wow. Not good. Not good. But look, our Washington Norfolk line is already making us money. Let's go. Um, let's, go and take a, let's go and take a look. Let's go and take a look down here. 
So are we seeing passengers? Oh my lord, we're seeing loads of passengers. Certainly in Washington DC. Now this is where the two lines cross. So I guess this is where we'd see the most passengers. We've got, look at this, we've got 42 passengers waiting on this line, 50 passengers waiting on this one. Over here, 25 and 43, looking good. Let's go and have a look down in, uh, down in Fredericksburg. 29 passengers waiting. And it's the same story like all along the line. Down here in Franklin, we've got 35 passengers waiting, 43. So I'm expecting that this line, I think we need some more stagecoaches on this line. But we'll, I guess we'll see. Um, let's, have, let's just have a little look. So yeah, we're running at capacity. And, uh, and we're starting to make some half decent profits. Now, if the same thing happens on the Boston Washington line, and there's no reason that it shouldn't, we're going to start to see some nice profits on that line as well. And the Boston food line was actually starting to get profitable. Oh, let's have a look up here. Yep, Newark, loads of passengers, New York. Not quite so many passengers. Why is there so many passengers in uh, in Newark? I think it's maybe because I've put the line in a bit of a circle and it's uh, and people are using it to move around within the city, which is kind of a good thing. But loads of passengers out here in New Haven, New London, and all the way up to Boston. Loads of passengers. How many people we got waiting here? 31. Over here, 25. And over here, 33. Looking good. Uh, so our ships are headed off over to here. Are we doing any good with grain production? Now, you're about to deliver a bunch of fertilizer, which means that this is going to start producing quite a lot of grain, hopefully. Actually, let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the farm and have a look at the details. So... Yeah, it's processing that. And so the production goes up. And we're cranking out the grain. Awesome. Which is great, because that's going to be perfect for our ships uh, turning up. Are you starting to bring some food? Yes, look at this. 21 livestock. Uh, have we had any livestock delivered yet? I don't. I have no idea. No, I, th I think that might be the first set of livestock that's coming up here. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's going to take a while. We're going to go into the red, I'm sure. But hopefully, oh, here we go. The Boston-Washington line is starting to get profitable. Look at this, 560 passengers of a possible 800. So, yeah, looking good, right. Now, let's turn off, um, let's turn off a whole bunch of icons. Um, let's turn that off as well. So we've just got the city names. Now, let's enjoy what the game looks like. So... Let's um, let's enjoy the posh horses for a bit. I think so. Let's let's go down here. So let's say well, where would be a good place to kind of watch them. And I'm thinking there's some really nice scenery. I tell you what. Let's um, let's start off. Maybe have a ride through New York. I just want to go through one of the kind of commercial areas because it's it's so nice inside the towns. So you do. You do. Let's uh, let's have a ride on vehicle 241. And I'm just going to speed this up till we get into town. And then we'll start really enjoying it. Oh, the return of the posh horses. How you doing, posh horses? Doing fine, thank you very much. Oh, I do like the posh horses. You still doing heroin? Of course we're not doing bloody heroin, you idiot. We only do heroin when you put us in those city routes going round and round and round all day. We need the heroin to just stave off the bloody boredom. Okay, fine. So what are you doing now then? But of course now you've got these, these long, beautiful runs out in the countryside. We're doing a straight up co uh, combination of uh, cocaine and amphetamines. You, you blimmin' buffoon. Don't you know that? <laughs> oh, I do like the posh horses. So, just look at these towns. The level of detail. I mean, I say every time I come down to this kind of level, and I don't spend anywhere near enough time. Oh, the, the barrels lying around and all, 
all of this stuff. Now this is an industrial part of town, but once we get into the commercial, I think the commercial areas are the areas that look the best. Oh, a little look down to the river. I mean, look at the hustle and bustle. We get a little bit of lag at the month end, but other than that, everything's looking good so far. And I tell you what, considering that we've just hooked up so many towns, and what happens is, at the month end, the game has to calculate um, where to add new roads, where to add new buildings, all that kind of stuff. And that's what makes it a little bit laggy at the month end. But in between the month ends, looking good. Look at all, like, all these little shops with the sign, handwritten signs outside and the tables and chairs for people to sit out. And I'm, I'm forever spotting new details. All the, like, the different signs that are on the buildings and all the little props that are around the place. It is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. And when we get out into the countryside, oh my lord. Some of the views in the countryside are just seriously breathtaking. Let's see. Uh, more commercial over in Newark. Let's, you know what? Let's have a. Oh, I just want to have, have a little look down at. Oh, look at that! Look at that! New York Harbour. That's New York. Statue of Liberty should be just about there. Oh, a bit closer, actually. So let's let's have a little whiz out into the into the commercial area. Is this the, is this the commercial? Yeah, commercial down here. I'm particularly interested to look for some of the very cool signs around the place. Black rock vegetables. More black rock vegetables. Restaurant here. But I, you know what? I'm not seeing some of the cool things that I've seen. Um, like the, the saddle makers. And, oh, that's a new one that I haven't seen. Queen's Road. With a little picture of the posh horses. Oh, a clothing store over here. William and Son Clothing. There's all kinds of cool signs around the place. There's, there's signs for like the for sea cruises. With pictures of the boats around and stuff. Awesome. Let's have a little look out like out of town. Um, oh, this is kind of a nice little route down here. We've got a... Oh, you'll do. You'll do. Yeah, not, not, not the passenger. I want the... There we go. Let's have a little ride with you. And it's nice to be able to take the time and just kind of enjoy just how freaking beautiful this game is. No, I mean, look at the sky. The sc I like the, with the clouds and everything. And the, the clouds drift by. And all these beautiful rolling hills. The extra vegetation mod makes a hell of a difference. You can see, you just get a little bit of lag at the month end. Now, if, you, if, you, if I was zoomed out, then you'd see it like come up and say, you know, saving. It's got to do a save game. It's got to do all the calculations. But the rest of the time, it's beautiful. Okay, should we go and have a look at the boat? Let's go and have a look at the boat. Because the boats are awesome too. And if we go up here, so, you know, it's, it's, I really want the harbours, like Boston Harbour and stuff, to, to be busy. I want, I want boats running up and down the coastlines. Now, these are the Zoroasters. These are the tankers. Let's get rid of that. And it's going to be so much fun as we, um, as we upgrade the boats. Being able, able to see them. Like in all their glory. Sailing up and down here. Because before they've always been in little rivers and whatever. But now we've got big, great big wide oceans for them to sail on. So let's go and have a look at this. Where are you? Let's, let's go and have a little look at you. And I, I can't get over the detail of, of the models. 
I mean, you just look at the bits and pieces that are on the boat. I mean, this takes me back to like the like pretty much the first episode I ever made of this. Now it's just like, oh my god, look at the brass work, little lanterns, and all kinds of stuff. I do, I do love the boat. And we should be able to get some uh, some nice aircraft flying around in this series as well. Get some airplanes flying from uh, from Boston, New York, uh, Washington, and we've got some long hauls. We can go up to um, maybe put an air airport up in in in, in Burlington. I have no, I would think they've probably got one up there or close by, and uh, certainly Charles uh, Charleston's got an airport. So we'll do uh, we'll do a bit of that. I can't wait to get these boats running in some of the um, some of the. Oh, now hang on. What are you? Oh, so you? Oh, these are the ones going down to that. Um, th this is the this is the cattle farm down here. Let's have a, a quick look at this because this this coastline is just. It's so it's so beautiful. I keep saying it, but it really is. I think this map just lends itself to the game so nicely because there's so much cool stuff. All these little islands and whatever on the coast. I seriously cannot wait till we can get some ships maybe going um, going up here past um, Hartford and Springfield up to uh, Charlestown or up to Ticonderoga, uh, Ticonderoga and uh, and Burlington up here because this up here uh, this is kind of probably my favorite area on the map I love these hills and this is why I spent so much time on the map getting all of these hills to like scale properly so they actually looked correct the original height map was just a bit too brutal it just needed to be smoothed out a bit but now god it's just incredible I mean look at these vistas just incredible I can't wait to have boats going up and down these rivers oh month end again as soon as, as, soon as you see a little bit of lag month end and uh, I don't mind the month end lag the month end lag that's fair enough what's this is this term um, Ticonderoga Oh, no, this is Albany, the capital of New York State, Albany. We're in upstate New York here. And you can see it, it's, it really is gorgeous. All right, guys, you know what? I think that's enough for episode one, don't you? Uh, let's check out what our situation is. We are making uh, profits on the Boston-Washington line. Um, we're making profits on the Washington-Norfolk line. We're making 175000 on the Washington Norfolk line, which is pretty darn good, we st it's still going to take a little bit of time for these vehicles to space out and like get all the way to the ends of the line because it is such a long line. Um, and I'm thinking, you know what, we probably need more vehicles than that on this line. Um, I'm starting to think so, but we're coming up to we're starting to get towards maximum capacity on that line. I'm figuring if this thing's making two hundred thousand then this thing should be making half a million plus in terms of profit. And that's without like getting any profits from uh, our food and fertilizer line. The fertilizer line is just starting to show a profit. Pretty sure the food line is going to make like a fairly decent profit once uh, once it like fully gets up to speed. Let's go and have a look. Are you, are you starting to crank out some... No, you're not... You haven't got anything... Oh, the ship will have it all on board, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What's your production up to? Oh, we're up to 188. So, yeah, this is going to upgrade soon. Oh, so that's nice. Uh, how are we doing with the fertilizer? Is that ready to... Yeah, no, fertilizer's kind of... Kind of me, me. We'll, I, we should probably put another ship on there as soon as we can. Um, how are we doing over here? Oh, we're starting to get some production going on here, which means that we'll be shipping some food out. We got any food waiting? No, because we've got we've got plenty of wagons and they're taking care of it. So that's all good news. Well, there you go. We'll leave it there. I'm really looking forward to your comments, guys. Let me know what you think of the whole setup. Um, there's a hell of a lot to comment on. Come on, if you can't think of a comment, 
I'm, I'll be very disappointed. Um, it is the first episode in a new series, so if you're in, if you've enjoyed this and you want to see uh, see some more, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.